Hi all. After spending some time with Tableau to visualize data, I'm back to Oracle and Deca to build the dashboards and visualize the data. So this is a simple dashboard which I have developed with the Oracle and Deca to visualize my order data. So this is a very simple uh, data, just uh, displaying customer name, number of orders, currency, price list, order date, and the total of the order. So let's see what what is in this dashboard designed with the Oracle and Deca. So on the left top corner, I'm displaying the summary, like I have a 343 orders in my data set. Total amount of these orders is $7.2 million around, and the top customer is AC network. Then I have a available fields which uh, will basically help me to filter my data. Then at the top right, I have a tag clouds where I'm displaying the customer name. Then I have a chart and then I have a real data. So let's see. Um, so uh, this is my summary bar. So let's see, I uh, and I want to add a filter. I just want to see the data for a customer name AC Networks. As I, as I can see, there are 152 records for this AC Networks. So let's click on this. As, as you can see, the moment I select a particular customer, the complete dashboard is changed. I can see the number of orders 154. I have a total is around 4.3 million. And then I can see I have a customer name and AC networks in the filter, the graph is changed, and I have a data related to AC customers only. So let's see, now I have a, around how many, I have 154 orders. So let's see the, cha the cloud is no more because cloud was based on the customer, so I don't have any more data in the cloud because I have a filter for AC network. So let's see what is this chart. So now in the chart section, I have very much flexibility. Now in the chart, I can dynamically pick my uh, dimensions and system will plot the graph automatically. As you can see, I pick the customer name and status. So system display me like a, I have a 95 order in the book status for this customer and around 42 in an enter. Similarly, uh, if I, I want to see from which warehouse these orders are from, so the system is just showing me there are like uh, seven booked order, three closed order, and three enter order from a Dell warehouse. And similarly, I have around 87 booked orders from M1 warehouse. So let's remove the AC network uh, filter. So I'll see the complete set of data again. So as you can see, I, I can see the complete a list of uh, complete details about my orders based on their order status. So let's see, I just want to see my graph based on my customers. So as you can see, I can see the AC network has around 95 booked order and 42 enter. Similarly, Business First has around 92 booked order. Uh, I have options to see the data based on the price list. Let's see. So the moment you choose your dimension system will automatically, automatically plot the graph for you. So let's go back to AC network once more time. So now it, AC networks had 152 orders out of those 140 is booked and 13 is entered. So let's see, let's click on the booked. So the moment I pick, click on the graph for the book, the complete Dashboard is changed. Now it is displaying the data for only the booked orders. And you can see, I, I can see, I can see that, sorry, uh, I, I think, let, let me go back. This is not the status, sorry, this was a based on my price list. So let's see, now I click the booked. Now as you can see, the complete, uh, complete dashboard is changed. Now system is displaying me details of all the booked order. So what I can see is, I can see there are 88 booked order, amount $1.2 million for this customer. So I, I just want to remove the book filter. I just want to see what's going on with my enter order. So I can see enter order, there are 38 enter order, and they're worth $3 million. So that means 38 orders worth $3 million. They are still in enter status. Let's further drill it, what's going on with these orders. And let's see the total. 
I can see the total out of these three million. There's a one order worth two point six million dollars. So see that way it helped me to filter my data. And uh, what 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 else I have? Let me see. Uh, let's let me f uh, remove the f all the filters. For all, and uh, just display the complete set of data. Now, as you can see, it's not only I can filter my data from here. Uh, I can filter my data from the, my my list of uh, columns. I can filter the data from the graph. I can filter the data from the cloud, and uh, I can filter the data from my data set. My uh, let's see. Suppose I want to see the data for is uh, AT and T cards. Just click on the, and as you can see, system will redraw the graph and display the statics related to AT AT and T universal card. So as you can see it's a very easy uh, to visualize the data using Oracle and Deca, and uh, we are doing a lot of stuff on this area. If you want us to build the dashboard for you. Uh, with the Oracle and, and Deca, feel free to uh, reach me at asgupta at bizinsightinc.com or you leave your comments and I will definitely get back to you. We are also uh, building a lot of stuff around e-business suites. If you want to build the dashboards and then integrate it with the e-business suite, uh, we can do the same for you. So feel free to reach us. Thank you. Bye.